In an industry that has a recruitment field that is slowly diminishing in size year by year, HVAC technicians entering the field need to know that their hopes of being a good technician won't be demolished if they make a mistake. Making mistakes creates better technicians in one way or another. Sometimes it removes them from the position of being a technician altogether. One thing's for sure, everything has a way of working itself out and no one is immune to that fact. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click the little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. You know, it's funny, today on social media, most people will only post their positive achievements. God forbid should we post any mistakes in front of a world that will likely bash us with replies that drive the point home even further than making the mistake itself. Making mistakes is going to happen. Generations before us in the HVAC industry, as well as others, have made mistakes that got us to where we are now. Best practices and technologies have improved greatly since the first waves of this trial and error began. In actuality, some people do post their mistakes on social media, and bless those brave souls for those who do. One electrician that I saw posted a picture of himself in the hospital wrapped in bandages from head to toe after he received second and third degree burns when he touched the wrong piece of metal inside an electrical panel. A great learning experience for everyone. Another posted a picture of himself in the hospital with a disgruntled, almost pain-filled face after he touched the wrong part of an electrical component he's worked on hundreds of times in the past. This time, touching it in the wrong place caused his heart to stop, his body to seize, and black out until his partner on the job site literally had to kick him off the live part. This leads me to my first reason why making mistakes creates a better technician in one way or the other. Number one, it helps slow us down and pace ourselves as we get the job done. Those of us who have done an HVAC maintenance on a furnace or air conditioner can probably go through the routine of it with our eyes closed after just one season of doing them. Although most systems throughout the day that we work on are made by different manufacturers, they operate pretty much the same. I remember a mistake I made on a furnace tune-up in my first year on my own. I was working on a rooftop gas package unit when I was checking the outlet pressure at the gas valve. When I was done with it, I sort of just kind of moved on to the next item on my list without screwing the pressure port screw back into the gas valve. So when I went to fire up the system and the flames ignited, about three seconds later, the flame rolled out towards my face and actually singed my eyebrows a little. Mmm, nothing like the smell of burnt hair in the morning. Obviously, this taught me to be more purposeful when I work on equipment and ultimately made me a better tech for doing it. Number two, mistakes point us to something we didn't already know. They teach us little nuances in different equipment. I see so many technicians just blow through an installation of a new part or a full HVAC system and not even read the directions. Then, when the system doesn't fire up correctly, they don't know why. A prime example of this is on one of the control boards we use, the White Rogers 50A55843 control board. It's a universal replacement that we like to use for most single stage gas furnaces in the residential field. Most of the time, control board changes are like for like change outs, plug and play. Well, when you use this board to replace the Train XB80 gas furnace control board, there's an adapter that you have to use from the box to include a couple of rollout switches into the Molex connector that plugs into the board. Almost every time a technician is called to tell me their problem with the startup after changing this board, I ask them if it's a train. A lot of times they say yes, and I tell them about the paragraph in the installation instructions that talks about this adapter. And that technician never calls again about that issue. In fact, they likely become someone who can be called by junior techs in the field that incur the same problem. Number three, it humbles us. Making mistakes can bring even the most experienced techs back down to reality very quickly. It keeps us humble when we make mistakes. And admitting these mistakes can add some humility back into our lives that will ultimately make us better technicians in the long run. I've heard of some technicians and DIY homeowners who screwed up wiring something as simple as wiring a capacitor. 
When they finally realize what they've done, whether it's burning up a compressor or causing a fan to spin backwards or something else, they'll say, well, that was a humbling experience. Some people just don't know when to ask for help or take the time to read the directions. As the saying goes, it doesn't matter who's right, it just matters what's right. Number four, mistakes create change. Technicians who have made mistakes in the past and then went on to become great technicians have all asked themselves some internal questions. What went wrong? What did I learn from this? And what could I do better next time? Nothing is more humbling than putting your foot through the ceiling while working in the attic. It's easy to learn from that mistake. Watch where you're stepping, make sure it's wood that you're stepping on, and even then step squarely onto the wood. People who have improved their skills by making mistakes make it harder to mess up again. They make a plan that will help them avoid making similar mistakes. And ultimately, that might not even be the most perfect change to your mistake, so be flexible and forgiving to yourself and others who make mistakes on the job. And number five, mistakes can reveal our true passions. Is it time to move on? Not every mistake is gonna make us better technicians, but rather better or happier people. Since I'm in the mood to make myself the example here, I'll tell you another quick story of a mistake that I made which led me to another path. Before I was an HVAC technician, I was a bartender for 15 years. I started when I was 20, and by the time I was 35, I had a family, I didn't drink anymore, and I didn't even go out to bars anymore. But it's all I knew how to do, and I was pretty good at it. Well, one night, I guess I asked the wrong person to leave the bar for the night after he called me a not-so-nice name that involved a couple cuss words. My boss had always let us stand up for ourselves and our co-workers who were abused in any way because drinkers can get a little feisty sometimes. Well, apparently the person that I asked to leave the bar for the night in a not so nice way was the wrong person to kick out. Well, after working there for 11 years, my boss and I decided that we would just go our separate ways. It was likely a culmination of things, like I wasn't the party guy that I used to be, which might have led me to be not so understanding and forgiving towards intoxicated name callers. Either way, my final mistake there made me realize that this may not be the job for me anymore. I started a new job in HVAC and became very passionate about it, which has led me to where I am now. It's funny how life steers you in the direction you didn't even know you were going. So why can't we be more forgiving of those who make mistakes out in the field? Maybe it's because we don't have the patience for apprentices trying to learn the trade. Maybe it's because that mistake has been made by the same person more than once. I get it. I'm not saying that extra training, disciplinary action, or removal from a certain position doesn't need to happen, because it does sometimes. But we should all recognize that mistakes will be made by today's technicians, which is just another generation to make mistakes as we plow forward in this game called life. Realizing that mistakes are going to be made, we can relax more, and by doing so, we might make fewer of them. Each one of us is a part of that human tradition of learning and experimenting. As our pool of future technicians grows smaller every year, we as the journeymen need to recognize that we made mistakes as we came up in this field, which has led us to where we are now as valued members of our team. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right, and if you click the little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.